The march southward was grueling, with Lord Regi Calderon and Commander Thera Avre leading the forces of the Obsidian Order toward the estate of House Mustafa. The distance between House Kimura and House Mustafa spanned several days, but the weight of recent events, the betrayals, and the bloodshed propelled them forward with an almost fervent determination. Every step taken was one closer to justice, or so they hoped. Lord Calderon, a figure of imposing authority, took charge of the initial assault. His command was swift and decisive, cutting through the resistance like a blade through silk. As his forces breached the town's defenses, the focus shifted to the docks, where the remnants of House Mustafa's loyalists had gathered for a final, desperate stand. Commander Thera Avre, a seasoned warrior with a fierce reputation, led a select group to this pivotal location. By her side were Maxwell René, the sharp-witted strategist, Thalia, the relentless fighter, Esling, ever steadfast, Sergio Kimura, whose loyalty to his house was unwavering, and the formidable Obsidian Order members, Machar Douglas and Rory. Sir Gavicus of House Rain had initially been part of this vanguard, but he had fallen back to reinforce their flank, ensuring that no Mustafa soldiers could ambush them as they pressed forward. The approach to the docks was eerily quiet, the kind of silence that made the skin crawl, as if the very air held its breath in anticipation of the violence to come. The tranquility of the scene was a deceptive facade, hiding the storm that was about to break. As they neared the water's edge, the loyalists of House Mustafa, their backs to the sea, made their final, defiant stand. The clash was immediate and intense, Swords met with a ring of steel, each strike echoing across the waves. The thunderous roar of cannon fire punctuated the battle, shaking the very ground beneath them. All the while, the relentless hiss and crash of the ocean provided a haunting soundtrack, as if nature itself bore witness to the conflict. The fight was brutal, a desperate struggle where every blow counted, and the air was thick with the scent of salt and blood. Despite the ferocity of House Mustafa's final defense, the combined strength of the Obsidian Order and their allies proved overwhelming. Slowly, inexorably, they pushed the defenders back, breaking their lines and shattering their morale. The battle was won not just through superior tactics, but through sheer determination, each fighter knowing that this was more than just a skirmish. It was a turning point. When the last of Mustafa's forces fell, the docks were theirs. The victory was hard fought, but decisive. House Mustafa was broken, its estate secured for House Kimura. The once mighty house, now brought low, had paid the price for its transgressions, and the Obsidian Order stood triumphant amidst the wreckage. The march south had ended, not with a whisper, but with the resounding clash of steel and the roar of victory. If you enjoy this video, please like, follow, and set your alerts, as we will regularly be sharing future lore videos and other content on our channel.